and sisters good afternoon father in this holy eucharistic celebration let us pray for this following intention this mass is offered for the divani chivi corpus fund donor one person for good health and thanking god for all the graces received by one person today's rosary divine mercy chaplet word of god holy hour are also offered for this family and their intentions in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit with you all and with your spirit dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ in today's gospel reading Jesus was rejoicing in the spirit why Jesus was rejoicing in the spirit because he sent 72 disciples to a different places when they came back they came rejoicingly by saying lord in your name even the demons are submitting to us therefore the lord rejoiced and he told them you be happy and rejoice that your names are written in heaven therefore dear brothers and sisters as we have entered the season of advent let us prepare ourselves to receive Jesus into our hearts into our families before we partake in this solemn eucharist let us call to mind all our sins and ask pardon from the lord i confess to almighty, to almighty god, god and, and to you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my faults through my faults through my, through my most, most grievous faults therefore i ask blessed mary o virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life oh. Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Let us pray Look with favor O Lord God our petition and in our trials grant us your compassionate help that consoled by the presence of your son whose coming we know away we may be obtained no longer by the corruption of former ways through our lord jesus christ your son 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen the spirit of the lord shall rest upon him first reading a reading from the book of isaiah chapter 11 verses 1 to 10 they shall come forth a shoot from the stumps of jesse and a branch shall grow out of his roots and the spirit of the lord shall rest upon him the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and fear of the lord and his delight shall be in the fear of the lord he shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity of the meek of the earth and he shall smit the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked righteousness shall be griddle of his waist and faithfulness of grill of his lion the wolf shall dwell with the lamb and the leopard shall lie down with the kid and the calf and the lion and the fattening together and a little child shall lead them the cow and the bear shall feed and the young shall lie down together and the lion shall eat straw like the ox the suckling child shall play over the hole of apes and the wean child shall put his hand on the adder's den they shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain for the earth shall be full of knowledge of the lord as the water covers the sea in that day the roots of jesse shall stand as an assign to the people him shall be the nation speak and the dwelling shall be glorious this is the word of the lord thanks, thanks be, be to, to god. god your response in his days justice shall flourish in his, in days, his days justice, justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails and, and peace, peace till, till the, the moon, moon fails o god give your judgment to the king to the king's son your justice that he might judge your people in justice and your poor in the right judgment your response in his days justice shall flourish in his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails and peace till the moon fails in his days justice shall flourish and the peace till the moon fails he shall rule from sea to sea from great river to the earth's bounds your response in his days justice shall flourish in his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails and peace till the moon fails for he shall save the poor when they cry and the needy shall be helpless he who have pity on the weak and save the lives of the poor your response in his days justice shall flourish in his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails and peace till the moon fails may his name be blessed forever and endures like the sun every tribe shall be blessed in him all nation bless his name your response in his days justice shall flourish in his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails and peace till the moon fails please stand for the gospel acclamation
Lord, hallelujah. Praise be the Lord, hallelujah. Praise be the Lord, hallelujah. Praise be the Lord. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Luke chapter ten, verses from twenty-one to twenty-four. At that same hour, Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said. I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, or who the Father is except the Son. And anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then, turning to the disciples, Jesus said to them privately, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in the Gospel reading just now we have heard, Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit. Why he rejoiced in the Holy Spirit? Because he sent the 72 disciples to proclaim the gospel. When they went away to proclaim, Jesus trained them, cautioned them, and he sent them away. As they turned back, they turned back with great joy and happiness. And they said, Lord, in your name, even the demons are submitting to us. When we lay our hands, the sick are healed. Then the Lord says, your names are written in heaven, be happy for that. So there was a great joy when they turned back, when the demons are submitted to them. Therefore Jesus overwhelmed with great joy. And he says, there are people who desire to see what you see now. There were people who wanted to see and hear whatever that you hear now. They wanted to witness what you witness even now, but they could not. What is that? These are the things. What are those things? There are number of people who waited to see Jesus. There are number of people who wanted to hear Jesus. They could not, they did not hear. That is why we read in Luke chapter 2, verses 35 on the following. Prophetess Anna, she was waiting to see the salvation of Christ. Simeon, he was waiting in the temple to see when the Messiah would come. Every day, the disciples are witnessing Christ. They are hearing the words of Jesus Christ. They were touching him, seeing his miracles every day. But this experience, people wanted to have, but they could not. That's why Jesus says, these are hidden from the wise and the intelligent. They are hidden from the wise and intelligent, and it is revealed to the infants, because they are humble. It is, re it is revealed to you and me. St. Paul says beautifully in 1 Corinthians 
chapter 1 verse 26 on the following the lord chose who is weak in this world in order to shame the strong the lord chose the useless unwise people in order to shame the wise people clever people that's what in the gospel reading also we see the lord is the lord hidden the mysteries from the wise and intelligent it is revealed to you and me like humble and the ordinary people when they received jesus they overwhelmed with great joy there are prophets there are kings they wanted to hear what you hear now they could not hear in the first reading we have heard just now prophet isaiah says the wolf shall live with the lamb the leopard shall live with the calf and the cow and the lion shall eat together so these things will happen when christ kingdom comes it is written jesus is filled with the holy spirit when the spirit of the lord comes all these things will take place all the impossible things will become possible this is impossible what it is written but when the spirit of the lord comes everything will be possible therefore dear brothers and sisters as we have entered the season of advent let us prepare ourselves to receive jesus into our hearts into our families you take a heart, we love you take a life, oh Father we are yours, we are yours, yours as we stand at the table you set, yours as we eat the bread our hearts can't forget, we are the signs of your life with us yet, we are yours. We are yours. Take our bread. We ask you take our heart. We love you take our life. Oh Father, we are yours. We are yours. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands. hands. For, for the, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your heart, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He assumed at His first coming the lowliness of human flesh, 
So fulfill the design you formed long ago and open for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for the day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have filled us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Paul Antonio, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Our mercy in us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cohesive to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say your word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of the Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. to judge wisely the things of the earth and all form to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with you. 
your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. of Christ. Thanks be to God.